What's going on, everybody? This is Nick Lawson from Squad Sports. We're really excited to be supporting the Free Agent Friday series. A lot of great talent out there. Without further ado, this is the next free agent you should be signing with your sports team. All right, we're back again for another Free Agent Friday, and today I've got Doug Brown with me. How's it going, Doug? Pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, doing good. It's been a good day so far, so I <laughs> can't complain. <laughs> Let's get um, started. Kind of walk me through your college experience and what your degree's in. Sure, sure. Um, so I went to uh, Arizona State University, uh, got a degree in sports business, uh, undergraduate degree. Um, was uh, born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, went out to ASU for school, and uh, I loved every minute of it. Are you still out in Arizona now? Uh, I am, yes. Uh, okay. Graduated. Uh, Graduated last May and never left. <laughs> nice. When did you realize you wanted to work in sports? Um, you know, probably not as long ago as uh, some people. Um, I would say probably maybe tail end the sophomore year, probably more uh, in my junior year of college. Um, you know, I grew up a big sports fan, definitely. Um, but didn't really learn about the, uh, you know, the working, the job side of it um, until I joined uh, this specific major. What's your favorite teams? I see you got Pittsburgh Pirates back there and the Spurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, big, uh, big Spurs fan. They're definitely my uh, favorite pro team. Um, and then you know, I'm a big, uh, big college athletics fan. So everything, uh, everything your... Sun Devils. Oh, Sun Devils, okay. Just yeah, making sure yeah. sometimes people like a different, you know, college than the one they went right, to. Right, right. No, nah, that's cool. So when you were in college, did you do any internships or volunteer work? Um, you know, not as much as uh, some people maybe in this degree. Um, part of that was kind of learning about it uh, at a later time. Um, I did do a few things here and there. Uh, I volunteered with the Arizona State University football equipment staff uh, my freshman year um, that was a uh, very part-time basis pretty much just you know once or twice a week kind of deal um, throughout my first semester here um, you know had a found them through uh, Twitter actually and just kind of reached out and you know they said that volunteers are welcome and uh, you know I met some really cool people through that and got to work on the sidelines a few games and um, so yeah, I did that, and then uh, freshman year and the sophomore year, I did um, a social media internship for a local golf company in the Phoenix area um, called Golf for Cause. Um, the lady that runs it and owns it, a uh, very good person. Um, she brought me on, um, you know, through a job board post. Um, so got some social media experience uh, early on, and uh, I really enjoyed that job. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it for volunteer, uh, you know, internship type stuff. What was kind of your first taste into um, like a sports job? Um, well, I guess I said I didn't learn about it until later on, but I guess the equipment staff was my first taste of it. Um, just kind of, you know, being around the people that did it full time and seeing that that is a position. Um, I guess, you know, as far as my major goes, I didn't really pursue it until later on, but that was probably, you know, that was probably the first time I've ever been somewhere in life. And, you know, man, like, you know, people actually work in sports, you know, it's not just players. So. It's funny. It sounds like since we're in it now, it's like, that sounds weird, but like thinking back and I've had so many people that are on the free agent Friday say the same thing. It's like, didn't yeah. even really think of it that way. Cause you look at it as, you know, the, you know, what's out in the public and that's the players right. and, and the games. So, yeah, exactly. So what other kind of, do you have, um, you had some other stuff with synergy sports for a little bit. What was that? Yeah, that was a, uh, so the title was a baseball statistics logger. Um, found that one through a sports business association. They were looking for people to come on and, uh, it was a remote job. I did it for probably just under a year, uh, maybe a little less. Uh, just uh, kind of log on to their database, uh, watch games, um, log all the stats that happened. Um, 
anything from, you know, strike ball uh, to was it a walk, a hit, you know, who fielded it, um, you know, where were the runners. Um, so definitely got some uh, some computer skills and some, uh, you know, attention to detail experience with that. And how about I saw um, something else um, for racing? Yes, uh, Mauser Racing. That's a uh, freelance position I have. Um, found uh, it's a company based in uh, Texas, where I'm from, uh, Mauser Electronics. They, uh, they have a racing division of their marketing department. They sponsor uh, an IndyCar, a Formula E team, and uh, also a World Endurance uh, Championship racing team. And so that's, uh, like I said, a freelance position that I do. Uh, I run all of their social media, um, write press releases. I do some blogs for them. Um, but yeah, that's uh, probably my biggest experience so far, um, all social media related. Uh, you know, I work right alongside the IndyCar team and the Formula E team to get content out um, for the sponsorship side. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity to go to a couple of different races uh, on uh the Formula E series and the IndyCar series to do some in-person social media and uh, do some other stuff around the track with that. Did you have to do like any graphics work when you were doing any of the social media stuff or was it just managing the overall platform? Yeah, it was basically managing, um, sending out, you know, day-to-day -day tweets. Um, the graphics and stuff like that was actually done all in-house uh, by the home company by Mauser. Um, so okay. basically just kind of log on and, you know, tell them what I need or what I wanted and, uh, they would produce that. Yeah. How about what was your um, latest position that you had? Um, so yeah, that was the, with the Arizona Diamondbacks, I got on with them back in, uh, February of this year, 2020. It was in ticket operations, uh, ticket operations associate, uh, was the title. Uh, it was part-time. But, um, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, unwritten uh, both sides, you know, like it was probably going to lead to full time. I would like to hope, uh, yeah. you know, nothing's guaranteed, but it was definitely getting my foot in the door uh, at a professional level. So I took it, you know, no questions asked. Um, so that was basically working, you know, box office um, in the back end of the box office, uh, you know, Printing tickets, uh, helping get, you know, big groups set up with their tickets, uh, making sure season tickets went out correctly and uh, just kind of doing anything and everything that revolved around that. Good mix. Yeah. So, you know, you kind of have some sales experience from a few of the positions and then social media. What's kind of your ideal role that you're going to be looking for? Definitely. Um you know, like you said, uh, sales and marketing, uh, social media specifically, what I have experience in. So, I mean, I'm really open to anything. Um, marketing would definitely be my number one area. Um, you know, I love the aspect of trying to make a team or, you know, a company look good. Um, I think that's something that is interesting and there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, you know, social media is obviously one of them and it's growing by the day. So I know that's a good one oh, yeah. too be involved with, um, but it's also probably the one, um, one of the more popular ones to get involved with too. So what would be your dream job? Dream job. Um, you know, for being honest, I don't know if I have one yet. Uh, I kind of want to experience, uh, some different areas before I really, you know, make my mind up, uh, you know, different areas is in different jobs with, you know, different types of teams. Um, you know, if I had to pick one right now, uh, you know, head of marketing or something like that for a uh, motorsports team would probably be pretty high on the list. Okay. Yeah. What would you say is your biggest skill that you'll bring to a new position? Sure. Um, you know, I just, I want to learn a lot. Um, you know, I don't care what level the position is. Um, you know, I'm going to go into it thinking that I can learn everything there is to know about it. Um, I'm always looking to get better. Uh, you know, I'm never really satisfied with, uh, you know, what level I'm at, no matter, like I said, no matter the position, I know there's always something to learn from it. And I guess just kind of bringing that mindset in uh, would probably be, uh, you know, the biggest skill that I have. That's good. I mean, I'm 
been in a 20 plus years and same thing. I just want to keep learning every day and I still do learn a lot. So, you know, you right, want to keep right. that, you know, to really, you know, progress. What would you say is the biggest area you need to improve on? Yeah. Um, probably my confidence, um, you know, in a, in a social setting, um, you know, I'm not necessarily a shy person, but I wouldn't say I'm really outgoing either. Um, and I think that kind of transfers over to work. Um, you know, I'm not the shyest person in the office, but I definitely want to get better at, you know, speaking up and making my voice heard. Um, and, you know, learn, obviously learning the right times to do that. But I know, uh, you know, sometimes uh, whether you're the new guy or the oldest guy, if you have a good idea, you know, people always want to hear it. And, uh, you know, I want to get better at making myself, you know, speak up and share those ideas and share my comments. How would you define success? Success for me uh, in like a professional setting would be, you know, if I can make the jobs of the people around me easier, uh, whether it's a coworker or my boss or my boss's boss, you know, if I can make their lives easier, then I would say that I've succeeded at what I'm doing. Um, you know, sports, obviously, you know, like your team winning a championship or something like that is the obvious answer. Uh, but yeah, for a professional level, if I can just do whatever I can to help the people around me, um, you know, I would say that I would say that I'm doing pretty good. Nice. Yeah, it's good. I like that question because there's no wrong answer. It's like every, every person values different things and uh, just always good to see. Um, we talked a little bit about the, where you'd like to work, you know, as far as um, jobs is relocation an option. Uh, yes, definitely. Okay. I, uh, you know, I love Arizona. I love Texas, but I'm, you know, I'm definitely open to trying new things, new states, new cities, uh, you know, whatever it may be. Nice. How about the, I always like to end with uh, a fun personal fact about you. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm a big golfer. Um, I like playing golf. I like watching golf. I like just, uh, being around golf. Um, you know, I try to play as much as I can and, uh, you know, on the weekend, it's definitely one of my go-to sports to have on the TV. So how good are you? Uh, uh, I'm not bad. Uh, <laughs> I don't, uh, don't want to, don't want to brag about myself too much, but, uh, you know, I can, I can hang with, uh, I can hang with most people. Nice. Yeah. Did you play like, you know, in high school or college at all? Like, like on a team? <clears throat> Any tournaments? Um, not in college. Uh, I've, uh, I played just, uh, my senior year in high school. Um, kind of, uh, I was involved with basketball and stuff growing up uh, or other sports too, a basketball in high school. Um, didn't really learn about the golf team until probably my junior year. Um, so senior year decided to go and join it. Uh, you know, I play weekend tournaments here and there in Arizona. Um, but, uh, mostly just for fun with friends and stuff like that. We're going to see you in on tour anytime. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Well, maybe probably behind not. the scenes. But probably behind not the scenes. There you go. <laughs> I love the golf, but I suck. <laughs> I'm <laughs> definitely not any good. I'll, I'll admit that. If I get under a hundred, I am happy. But I stopped even counting score, and I I count how many balls I lose. <laughs> and so my goal is, you know, hey, can I get away with not losing one ball a hole? <laughs> if that <laughs> happens, I'm good. So. Well, you're no. not the only person that uses that metric, so. Oh, good. There's others out there. That's who <laughs> yeah, I need to play with. <laughs> <laughs> no, Doug, I want to thank you for, for joining me, and uh, hopefully, you know, we can help you get back uh, to work soon. Definitely. No, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me, and thanks for the opportunity.